So a new customer ordered a bunch of things and I want to do a video demo with the things that she bought so that she can feel confident with this. I'm also going to add in a couple additional things because you know I'm extra. Um, so stick around if you want a full on in-depth video on how to do um, a natural face. And so who this look for is for a busy woman. <laughs> you don't have much time. If you just have a little bit of time left in your schedule and you just want to bring some color to your face, if you want to just kind of hide some flaws, if you just want to take your look up a notch, um, I've talked about this foundation before and I recommended it to her too, but she chose to go with um, one of her MAC ones. Um, but this is so affordable. This is L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. And this is in the shade Medium because I have a self-tanner on. Like I, As you can see, I just put a tiniest bit on. You can use your fingers at this point and just gently rub it in. Or you can use a brush or a beauty sponge. I love a beauty sponge, but this is for mommies who are busy and just want to get it done. So if you just want a brush that you can just rub all over your face like this, I highly recommend this one. This is the Morphe M439. Um, I'm pretty sure every makeup artist on YouTube has talked about this at one point or another. It's so affordable. It's so sturdy. It holds up. And um, I've had this one for four years. Like, I love this thing. Worth the 20-ish bucks that it costs. Maybe a little more now. Okay. So I've smoothed that all over, right? Now I have a nice, clean, even base. I even put it on my lids to kind of camouflage those veins up there. And now we're going to go in with our brow, okay? I'm not going to use setting powder or anything crazy. This is for fast mommy makeup. You want to run out the door. You're going to go to church. You're going to go to a party. You got a date night. You never wear makeup, and this is what you want to do. You want to put on something like this, um, or you can literally copy the order that she made. This is the, the list of the things that she got. She got Avery, Maggie, Peach um, blush, peach lip liner. I'm going to add bronze and lip gloss at the end. So the brow pencil comes with um, a spoolie on one end and mechanical pencil on the other. Okay. And it goes up by just twisting it here like this. So you're going to brush your existing brows all the way up like this and just kind of give them some lift. And then this is the part that could actually take a little bit of practice. So commit to yourself that you're going to not give up after your first try. First, we're going to map out our brows and really put it together the way we want it. I'm going to go along the side of my nose and put a dot right here where I want the brow to start. So if you have any hairs over here, you might want to pluck those. If you don't have hair here, like if you over plucked in the 90s and you put it on along the side of your nostril straight up and your brow starts further over, that's where you're going to fill in. And when you fill in with, oh hi, how are you? You fill in with little stroke marks like this, okay? So I'm holding the pencil pretty far back and I'm just giving flicking motions lightly and through. So I've got the corner done. So I wanna make sure it's not gonna extend too far on my brow. So let me bring you back out a little bit. Take the, um, the pencil and you're gonna put it on the side of your nose and look for where it kind of makes a line from your eye. So take it right here. That's where your brow should end. Okay. If you have um, eyebrow hairs further down, go ahead and pluck those. If you don't have any, if you over plucked in the nineties and your brow starts here, you're going to do, do little flicking motions like this, little flicking motions, and we'll start filling it in. Then if you have um, a straight eyebrow and you want to get an arch, the other third point that you can go from is from your nose through the center of your eye. And that is where the arch should be. It shouldn't ever be, um, the arch shouldn't be up here or back here. If you want a balanced brow, you really need it to be right in the center there. So same flicking motions. We're just filling in, connecting the dots and kind of just giving us a little more um, coverage than what we were born with from God, right? So like this. And I'll just do this one on speed, regular motions here. So now I have my, my dots. I'm gonna start just flicking through to the center here, then flicking down. And I like holding a compact because I can tilt my head like this. And as I'm holding the compact, I can really um, adjust the angle. I can hold it higher, lower, all that good stuff. And see, this is where I overplucked in the 90s. I don't have anything right here. So watch this. I'm gonna just take my pencil. 
You see those little hair like strokes I'm creating? Just holding your pencil super light, okay? And I know it looks a little dark. After you get your pigment down, we're gonna comb through it with the spoolie and it'll look amazing. Okay, so now I have my corrections done. I'm gonna make this one a little more striking here. Uh, but at this point, um, just remember that your brows are sisters, not twins. So they're not supposed to look exactly perfect. If they look a little different, that's okay, all right? I'm gonna um, spool up. Gonna kind of erase that little dot there, <laughs> blend it in. And at this point, um, the brows that you don't have are filled in and they're very camouflaged and you've just kind of enhanced your whole look, which is so perfect. Um, brows to me are a really simple way to make your look look more polished. Um, and I know that wasn't exactly fast for mommies who need to get out the door, but look at the difference. Like, and I have brows. Imagine if you didn't have brows and you just put a little bit on. It really helps. Next up is mascara. I'm going to take my mascara and I'm going to bend the wand like this because it's on a metal little spoolie here. You okay, honey? Yeah, you can put a show on and then we're going to get going for our errands after I'm done with my video. So now I've kind of scraped off the excess, all right, and I'm just going to blink into it about three times. And that's it. I can go over again, give it another coat if you want. But already, look at how much more polished your face looks with just a little brow and a little bit of mascara. It's incredible. Okay, so now we're gonna do the blush. The Peachy Bloom blush is a beautiful color. It's flattering on most Caucasian skin types. Hyaluronic acid, um, vitamin B, it fights free radicals. This is skincare infused makeup. It's in, it's This is the blush you wanna get, guys. So as far as what you do, you kind of pick up some on the, the brush, any old brush. This is like a dollar store brush, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but it's really nice. I like it. And then you tap off the excess because you don't want too much product. You can always add more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to smile. I'm going to avoid my apples and I'm going to start right on the outer kind of like area where my, uh, what is this called? <laughs> like a higher portion of my cheekbone. That's the words I'm looking for. And we're just going to dot it right up there. Okay. Even up through the temple a little bit. A little color. Isn't that pretty? And imagine if you are a mama and you were up all night with your babies. And someone says, let's go get brunch. And daddy's home to watch the kiddos. And you're going to have a minute with ladies. You just throw in a little bit of color. You're going to feel so much better. Okay, so now with the remnants of this, I'm not going to add any more product to this. I'm going to put it on my nose, put it on my chin, and my forehead. I know it sounds weird, blush, but it's a thing. Next thing we're going to do with the blush is we're going to get <clears throat> any fluffy eyeshadow brush. You could even use your finger and just pick up a tiny bit, tap off the excess, and I'm going to just put this in my transition area of my lid. I put this blush on my lid um, for the first time when the blush launched, and I was like, this is a flipping eyeshadow. This is so pretty. <laughs> Um, and I use it for my quick looks all of the time. Okay. Boom. Now my eyes are just a little bit more awake. Next thing that she ordered was the peach lip liner. This can look a little dark. So this is what you're going to do to make it not look so dark. First, you're just going to line your lip. I always do the cupid bow first, that little V right here. Down the side. With the edge, or not, not the tip, but with like the flat part, right? So I've just lined them. I'm not filling them in. Rub them together. Take my finger. Really muted. Just a little bit of color, okay? And then if you want to take it up a notch, which I always do because I'm extra, um, you can stop right here. You're ready. You look, you're ready for brunch. You look refreshed. You have evened your skin tone. You've brought out your beautiful eye features. You've enhanced your lips. Completely kiss proof. Won't transfer off on your water glass or anything. Um, but I like a little bit extra, so I'm going to take my Cherry Blossom Lip Gloss. It's a little glittery. Just a touch. Just the smallest little touch. And then I'm going to take my bronzer, because I love being tan. 
This bronzer is so good, and I'm going to, where's my favorite brush? This is a flat, like a full-on flat top um, shader brush, and this is by Six Plus. I got it off Amazon. I'm gonna take the corner of this, watch, and just go like that. It's just on that side. Tap off that excess. Suck in your cheeks. And just hang out right here. And just keep buffing and blending. Isn't that nice? Just the most subtle, the most subtle. Just gonna hang out right here. Switch my position on my brush because I'm a lefty. Just hang out right here, keep on blending. Boom. The other thing you could do with the bronzer, if you have it, is you can also put that on your lid um, on just the outer corner. Just the outer portion, just do some circles. And just pop that color right there and then bring it through once or twice. And it just warms up the eye instead of just a pink look. It's a little more coppery, bronzy goodness. Boom. So I know that seemed like a lot of steps, but I wanted to break it down because my girl, Holly, she bought um, those first four products and was kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I hope that was a little more clear. If you ever want a one-on-one -on -one makeup class with me, I am available. You send me a message. We can do it over Zoom. Um, and if you purchase anything from Red Aspen from me, I will teach you how to put on lashes, teach you how to put on nails, makeup items, tanning. Um, you know, I already have my video as a demo, but if you want one-on-one -on -one with me, I am here for you and do that for you free with purchase. Um, or if you just want a makeup class to learn more about makeup in general, um, we can discuss pricing on the side. My in-person makeup classes comes with a, a cosmetic sponge of your own, a lip gloss, and all the instruction, $45, add lashes, at 65. And that's my in-home here. You get to sit right here with me in the good light and I will do your makeup. Um, special events, weddings, I've done full bridal parties, full glam. Um, if you just want a beautiful, beautiful makeup look for a weekend event. Um, recently I've done uh, birthday parties, um, a girl um, who was um, coordinating things for a funeral. Um, if you are a mother of the bride, a guest at a wedding, you just want to look good. You don't want to have to worry about it. Let me worry about it. Come on over. I'll take care of you. Or we can eat. Like I said, we can even do it over Zoom and I'll help you look and feel as beautiful as you are on the inside because you're always beautiful. I just want to help you learn how to make yourself look a little fancy. Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching and uh, you're welcome, Holly. Love you.